Welcome to episode 3 of Ask Glaston. The next question uh, is an excellent question. It has to do with the technology that we have already on the field and how the glass processors can utilize the technology that they already have instead of investing to a new one. Now the question goes like this. Now, many of the furnaces in the market are based on thumb glass HTF technology. Some of the brands mentioned here, Pro-We, Pro-Convection, Magnum. Uh, in those, the heating chamber design is uh, coming from the traditional HTF technology with castings around the heaters, non-divided heating elements, uh, stable temperatures along the heating time and so forth. Now, today, uh, customers must run and the glass processors must be able to run very low emissivity glasses, emissivity 0.02. At the time when this technology was developed, there was no such uh, glasses available. Now the question is, what can uh, the glass processors do in order to utilize the existing technology and to be able to run those low emissivity glasses? Kimmo. What do you say? There is a lot of technology in the field. Well, how they can utilize that, that technology? Well, the easiest way is to drop down the temperature of the furnace. Increase the cycle time, which means a little bit lower capacity. But at that stage, the glass, when it enters to the furnace, the temperature difference is not so big as with higher temperatures. This makes it easier to control the glass flatness and reduce the frame effect, white haze, roller wave effect. So easiest way is to reduce the furnace temperatures and run a little bit slower the furnace. We have also, in the newer technologies, mentioned here pro Sonics, we have index operations for the top heaters where we can turn on the top heating elements on or force them on, even though the class is not requesting. So all of you who have the pro or Sonic pay attention, the index feature, yep. you can keep those top heaters running. Uh, straight from the internet. And then, then we have also, of course, possibilities to upgrade the existing ones with the newer technologies, roller heat control upgrades, Vortex Pro upgrades, convection type upgrades for the very old furnaces which are not designed to run any low emissivity classes. So there, it is possible by reducing the temperatures, increasing the cycle times, but if you want to maintain the same cycle times, improve the quality, at that stage upgrade would be the best solution. Good, excellent answer, Kimmo. Short summary, you remember this uh, golden rule of tempering. If you want to overcome almost any quality issue, decrease your temperatures, increase the heating time. As Kimmo said, that will give you a chance to run the low emissivity classes even with a uh, slightly older technology.